things, and we will start nothing without the proper and respectful and proper thank yous. If you are currently a district leader, would you please stand up? Who is a district leader here? Thank you. Please, everyone, a round of applause for our district leader. If you are currently, I don't care how often, could be three days a year or 500 days a year if such a thing were possible. If you are helping this city by doing what is right and joining the furthering of the democratic process and you work for or you have worked for the Board of Elections, please rise. If you are a member or a leader of the Brooklyn New Wave Civic Coalition, which by the way, brought us all together for this amazing evening. A round of applause, please. Is anyone here from the Kings County Republican women? Anyone? Okay. Thank you to the President and the Vice President of the Kings County Republican women. Also, I would like to thank our very, very close friends who are a great part of New York City, a great part of Brooklyn, and Assemblyman Brooke Krasny, dear brothers to you and I everywhere we go. I would like to thank, assalamu alaikum, to my brothers and sisters in the Pakistani American community and those organizers of the Pakistani American Republican Party. Would you please rise? Thank you to my brothers and sisters in the Pakistani American Republican Party. And as always, you know what I have to say. Jive, Jive, Pakistan! Thank you, sir. Thank you. We move on now. See, this is what the Republican Party is about. And by the way, if you don't know who I am, I have the honor of being your chairman. My name is Richie Barsamian. Now, another one of our dear friends. We're truly blessed to have people. I'm here tonight, and it's a pleasure. It's an honor, actually. Because this is, and you've heard this before, but Senator Golden and I, Assemblyman Alex Burkrasny, all of us, we communicate very, very often. This election, on every level, on November 5th and all the days of early voting before, is, without a doubt, the most important election of our lifetime. And I'm asking all of you, no matter where you may be, socioeconomically, no matter where you may be, whether you celebrate Christianity, Islam, or Judaism, whether you go to the church, the mosque, or the synagogue, I am asking you as a lifelong New Yorker, as a lifelong Brooklynite, to understand why we need your support. We need the power of your passion and strength behind all of our candidates. This election will change what is wrong. But we cannot do it alone. For 21 years, 16 years as the great senator of New York State, Senator Marty Golden, and four years as a member of the city council, time and time again, good, decent, and yes, they're out there, Democrats, people who believe in our city, would line up to support Senator Golden. And that is why he won time and time and time again. I'm asking all of you today, here and now, as the chairman, the proud chairman of the Republican Party, do not make a mistake and think that the enemy is the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party is not our enemy, District Leader Moran. The enemy are the people who have aligned themselves with progressives, with Marxist ideology, with socialism in their heart. They do not want us to win. They have no faith, so they want to destroy our faith. They don't want us to do what we're doing right now, Assemblyman. They don't want us to be unified in a room together. They will lose. On November 5th, we will win. But we cannot do this if we're divided. We must get together. We're not asking Democrats to change their party. We're asking them to join us and to channel their frustration. Go across the driveway, go to your schools, go to your building lobby, and the next time a proud Democrat, and they should be, tells you, 
I'm not happy paying $8 for a dozen eggs. I can't believe that I just paid to fill up my gas tank what my parents paid for a mortgage. Next time someone tells you, I'm afraid to ride the train, and they're a Democrat, turn to them and say, you know what? We feel the same way. We are concerned about the same things. We don't want this to continue where people have taken the capacity of our judges away because they believe it's sane and something that is acceptably normal to put dangerous criminals back on our streets. They believe this is okay. By a show of hands, who believes it's okay for violent recidivist criminals to be back on our streets? This is a room, Senator, filled with logical Democrats and Republicans. Who believes that it's okay to go to the supermarket with $200 and walk out starving with two days worth of food? Anybody here? Everything that you see that is wrong can be corrected because we have a very, very special power within us as Americans and as New Yorkers. We have the capability to vote to motivate each other, and we will do it. Democrats, come with us. Let us leave these dangerous progressives behind. Bring people of faith from every corner of the globe, our neighbors, our family members. And you know why we're doing it? I'll tell you why we're doing it and why we will do it in this election. Because it's the future of our children, it's the future of our grandchildren. Let them fix what is wrong now with the power of our vote so we see on election night we have voted for change we have voted for stability we have voted for common sense so let us send to pennsylvania avenue president donald j trump let us send to congress sensible common sense leaders like congresswoman nicole maliotakis Get together as Democrats and Republicans and maybe some independents will join us for this journey. Let us support the values of the Republican and Conservative Party and say no to what is ruining our country. No to the disrespect for law enforcement. No to the disrespect of our military veterans. We will put people in the New York State Assembly that deserve to be there. We will return people to the state senate that deserve to be there. And we will put an end to the supermajority in the state of New York. And believe me when I tell you, when we do that, we will have veto power and we will have the ability to stop these very, very dangerous things that are going on around us. So remember, up and down the Republican line and the conservative line. Join us voting for one or the other, not both at the same time, please, please. <laughs> for you people in the Board of Elections, you just said, yes, yes, one at a time, Chairman. <laughs> we can do this. We will do it. We will get together and we will remember that change came. The moment of history came when we returned President Trump to the White House and we sent all of our people back. Because before I introduce everyone to speak one by one by one, for a few words and then we have party business. Remember this, this year, <coughs> culminating in the greatest moment of our lives on November 5th, we will make America great again. Thank you very much for the honor of being with you. With Senator Marty Bowling. Friend, would you like to join us up for a few moments? Chair Vallamarone, please give us a few words. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. It's important that you're here. You're the engine behind the motor that makes us go. If you're not here, nothing happens. If you're not here, and if you're not telling other people to go out and vote, if you're not out there campaigning for the candidates, if you're not out there talking to your friends and neighbors, nothing happens. We can all stand up here, we can make wonderful speeches, and we can try to be inspiring, as I know my partner is right here, Richie Barsame is when he speaks. But it's you that are going to make the difference. You are going to make things happen.
I'm proud to be the chair of the Conservative Party here in Brooklyn, and I'm proud to work very closely with the Republican Party. Together we're going to make America great again. Yes. To get to met, together we're going to make New York City great again. Yeah. New York City. Yeah. And Brooklyn, we're already changing. If you look at Brooklyn, you look at the landscape of Brooklyn, you look at the elected officials that are up here and the candidates that are running, we're having an impact. We're changing Brooklyn. We're making Brooklyn hot again. Everybody talks about Brooklyn. So much is happening here because you make it happen. You're the people that make it happen. You're the people that go, go out and campaign. You're the people that go out and vote. And you make it happen every single day. So I want to thank you again for coming tonight. I want to thank you for, for being out there, supporting yes. our candidates, working hard, contributing, and making it happen for us here in Brooklyn and New York City, New York State, and the United States of America. Thank you and God bless. To the great, great man, Senator Marty Golden, I have great pride to say this to you, and those of you who may not know this, friend, we didn't mention the most important fact of what they have done. You and I are standing behind our candidates, but they did this. We have right now, tonight, in office in Southern Brooklyn, Councilman Kagan, more Republican conservative office holders than we have since 1974. So if someone tells you we can't do it, we can do it, we will do it. That's right. So you can right. make it happen. Thank you. Now this is something I started doing a decade ago, and I don't care what he does, he could open up a pet store tomorrow. <laughs> but in my life and the life of my family, this is how I introduce him. Please give a gigantic welcome to Senator Marty Goldman. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Fran, for your great words. Thank you all for coming out here. You know what you want. You want change. That's why you're here. If you want the same old thing, you see what you just went through. The last three, four years, a disaster. A disaster. Our nation is being laughed at around the world. We need to stand up. We need to show not just this nation who we are. We need to show the world who we are. We've got to get out and vote and make a difference for the U.S. Senate, the U.S. Congress, and for our local Senate and Assembly races. And we can and we will do it because you, just look around this room, look around this room. Look how many of you are here. Think about it. You take your brothers, your sisters, your children, you get them out to vote, you get them, in a, and you get them to vote for the right people. You listen to Kamala? <laughs> you think you're on planet Mars. The woman is out to lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, she wants to expedite the illegal immigrants that have come across the border. She wants to expedite legalizing them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not the way to do it. There has to be a process. My parents came from Ireland. They had to have a job and they had to have a sponsor. They had eight kids in ten years, and I'm the oldest of that group. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. there's a process, and we need a process to happen here in this nation. We just don't need this rampant run through the southern border and the northern border to take over our nation so they can take over the U.S. Senate and the U.S. Congress and have all these votes. It's wrong, and it shouldn't happen, and it won't happen because each and every one of you in this room will not allow it to happen. Fine. I don't have to tell you. They got reports out there how crime is down. It is down. It's down from last year. And they give mayor and they give the police department, the New York City Police Department, they give them kudos. It's not down from three years ago. Three years ago, ladies and gentlemen, we had lower crime. And that's what we need today. And we don't have it. We need to get the bad guys off of the street. We got to get rid of this no bail, this no cash bail. Guy robs somebody and he's back on the street in 24 hours. How are we going to stop that? By the people behind me. We got to get these people elected and re-elected so that we can change those laws and bring some common sense back to the city and the state of New York and to the nation. And that's why you're here, because you care. You people care. And that's what it's all about. You know what's costing you. We just said what a dozen eggs cost. It's not going down. You see what you're paying for gas? It's not going down, ladies and gentlemen. 
Only gonna go down when we elect Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States of America. Then you're gonna see a change. Then you're gonna see a change because we need that change. We not that need that change not for us. It's about the kids. It's about your children and your children's children. If we lose this set of elections coming up, ladies and gentlemen, you lost the nation. Try to bring this back four years from now. It's not going to happen. You are that. That's that's how much and how critical your vote is. That's how critical your vote is today. You got to make sure you get that vote in. Your family gets that vote in because we're not coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't say it. I mean, it hurts to say it, but we can't come back if we don't win this election. We need Donald Trump. We need the Congress, the U.S. Senate, and we need to change the way this country is going, this nation is going, our city and our state, and we got to re-elect and elect these people behind me so we can watch the good right there. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many speeches tonight. I want to be short. I just wanted to get across the point. Cost of living, they dropped, what, today the interest rate came down to 50 basis points. You know what that means? Prepare. Recession, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> prepare. If it came down a quarter of a point, I'd say, okay. But at half, 50, give me, ladies and gentlemen, we are in trouble. And we are heading in the wrong direction. And if we get into a recession, God forbid, the only guy getting us out of it is going to be Donald Trump. The only guy that's not going to let us get into it is going to be Donald Trump. And right now, coming down 50% and the stock market, can you see the stock market? It went down. 50% down, and then stock market goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, make the difference. This is the vote of your life. Everybody tells you that every time I got this, is the vote of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the vote of your life. This is the vote that needs to be counted. We need to go Republican straight down, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get real Republicans and real change in the city, state, and nation. Can we do it? Yes. yes. Can we do it? Yes. yes. Can we do it? Yes. Can we do it? Yes. Yes. Thank you for making a difference because you are going to make that difference. God bless you all.